Tom Gilbert Chomley, heir to one of the white colonial settlers, Lord de la Mer, had served only five months at the committee maximum prison out of the eight months he was to serve for manslaughter charges, having been sentenced in May by Justice Moga Apondi. But at six this morning, the smell of freedom became all too real for him. As he was discreetly released, prison authorities explained the move. Here we want to clarify that Chom Tom Chomley never committed any prison offence. He was well behaved. He served his full sentence as per Section 46 of the Prisons Act Cap 90 laws of Kenya. Security had been beefed up at his current home. Security guards blocked entry to his residence, a move his lawyer Fred Ojambo was quick to defend. And in fact, he's given me the intention that he would like to, to rest for a bit. He would like some sort of privacy so he can rest and um, be able to be absorbed into, back into the society in which he was living. Ojambo downplayed claims that his client may be sneaked out of the country to the UK. Uh, you probably know that his children are not here, uh, the children are in the UK. And it's quite possible for him to go and see the children in the UK and back here. He's done that before anyway. So it's quite possible that he would do that. As to when he would do that, I don't know. His stay at committee appears to have been a blessing in disguise, at least for the other inmates. And he has purchased and obtained donations of computers and, and now runs a computer school at committee. He had been charged with the murder of the late stonemason Robert Njoya, but the charges later reduced to manslaughter. The case had dragged on for three years before it was determined on the 14th of May this year. And now as he starts a new life outside the prison walls, many are yet to understand the heart and mind of the man who managed to hide the anxiety of a possible death sentence from his face for years. Sheila Sendeo, Citizen TV.